Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing? Come on, show me some energy in the chat. Hello, Rudrakshi, Shipra, Rajkishore, Mayank, Deepti, Papiya, Ashriya, Shipra, Utkarsh, Swapna, Priyadarshini. How's everyone? How's the Josh today? Hello, lots of emojis. Thank you, Gungun, for telling me that I'm perfectly audible and visible. Nice to know. And I am doing very, 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 very well. Thank you so much. And my day always gets better after I see all of you. So, yay! Let's get started. And as you can see, today we are going to be dealing with commonly misspelled words. So this, this is not a problem in the day of the internet because when you are typing on your computers, laptops or your phone, you have something magical known as autocorrect, which autocorrects your spellings because of which now all of us have forgotten all of our spellings. So because of chatting and abbreviating everything, making short forms of all different words, and you know typing them wrong we have gotten used to making so many spelling mistakes and because autocorrect just simply corrects it for us we don't make a mental note of what the correct spelling is and thanks to this we always end up making mistakes in our exams right yes okay so today we are going to try and look at some words and even on the internet if you notice some of these words a lot of people despite having things like autocorrect keep making these mistakes. So these are very common mistakes. Some of them I see all the time. Okay, so we are going to try and avoid these mistakes after learning what the mistakes actually are. So let's get right to it. Ah, received a message. Someone received a message saying, hey, what do you want to have for dinner tonight? So basically we're looking at two people chatting. We are doing something we should not do. We are looking into other people's phones and seeing their chats. Okay, bad manners, but let's do it. It'll help us understand some spelling mistakes. Okay, so one person is asking, hey, what do you want to have for dinner tonight? Hey, let's order Parmesan pizza. Hmm. Now the other person, okay, they made a spelling mistake. Now they've corrected it. Lot of us do this, right? We put in asterisks and we correct our mistakes. Parmesan pizza. And now the first person is like, hmm, do you mean Parmesan pizza? P-A-R-M-E-S-A-N. Parmesan is a type of cheese, right? Okay, and then some people don't like it. They think it smells weird. Okay, then the other person says, yes. And also, jalapenos for toppings. Is there a mistake here? Yes. Uh, do you mean jalapenos? And this is a Spanish word, which is why the J is pronounced as H. We don't say jalapenos, we say jalapenos. Yes. And then... Yes, yes, jalapenos. Now let's have some synonym rolls too. Synonym rolls? What are synonym rolls? Uh, cinnamon rolls. Oh, cinnamon. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So now everything makes sense, sounds perfect, parmesan pizza, jalapeno toppings and cinnamon rolls. So sometimes when we type fast, we make mistakes, but sometimes we genuinely don't know the spelling of certain words. Pratiksha saying the other person is so bad at spellings. Yes, but it's okay. We'll ask that person to attend today's session and maybe they will get better. Okay. 
So, all right. Yes, Papiya, the names of these foods are really strange. They all come from different languages. So, Parmesan is Italian. Jalapenos are Spanish. And cinnamon is an English word. Cinnamon in Hindi is Dalchini, for those of you who don't know. Okay. All right. So, now we are going to become spelling experts so that we don't keep making mistakes while talking to other people. So, let's get right to it. And ta-da-da-da. There we go. Level 1 of Spell It. Are you ready? Show me that you're ready with lots of thumbs ups, everyone. And all you have to do is tell me the option that gives us the correct spelling of the words. But I need a promise. No one is going to do cheating over here, okay? Don't open another tab and start googling the word. Don't want all of that. It's only by making mistakes that we get better at everything, right? It's very important to make mistakes. So, yes, I see lots of thumbs ups. And here we go. First question. The function was cancelled due to blank circumstances. The word is unforeseen and the spelling is... Hmm... I don't see anyone typing the spelling. Come on, fast, fast, fast. Okay. Okay, so some of you, most of you actually are saying, okay, let me make this easier for all of us. This is one. Oh, where is pen? Okay. No, I gave you the answer. Okay, no, I stopped it. Stopped it before it was happening. But okay, I gave you the answer for this one. Accidentally trying to get the pen out. Yes. It's unforeseen. Okay, next time onwards, I'll just mark them 1, 2 and 3 so that you can tell me the answer. But a lot of you got it right. Some of you got it wrong. A lot of you missed out the E over here, which is a very common mistake. So, I saw a lot of unforeseen. But it, there needs to be an E after R, unforeseen, U-N-F-O-R-E-S-E-E. -E. And what does unforeseen mean? Something that you did not see coming. So something that was not predicted or anticipated. Unforeseen circumstances, unforeseen events. Alright, great job. So some of you got it. Some of you didn't. If you have doubts, instead of telling me, I can I ask you my doubt? Just post the doubt. Alright, and time for the next one. Okay, this time I won't give away the answer. Sorry about that. And here we go. The song had great. So, what are we doing? One, two, three. Just tell me if it's one, two or three. And then type the correct, once I give you the correct spelling, you type it once so that you have some practice. Okay. Lots of twos, 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 some ones. One and too many. So no one thinks it's three. Okay, three is cancelled. One or two? Let's find out. It's two. R H Y T H M rhythm. So now type the correct spelling so that you don't practice typing the wrong spelling. So great job everyone who got it right, those who got it wrong. Now you know what is rhythm? It's the it's like the sound that plays in music, the beat, the pattern of the sound. Yes, very good. Shash, Shashwat, the meaning of unforeseen is something that you did not see coming. Something that you did not predict. So an unforeseen circumstance is for example the pandemic. No, 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 none of us, wow, none of us saw it coming. So it was 
an unforeseen circumstance for a lot of people. Right? Okay. Some of you are still typing the wrong spelling. Don't do that. Type the correct spelling. Dhruvi, now you know the meaning of unforeseen. I just explained it. Okay? Time for the next one. Here we go. They can blank us at their house. The word is accommodate. And the meaning is provide lodging or space to someone. Give someone space. Again, we can follow one, two, three like this. Because I can't read your spelling so fast. But I see a lot of the correct answers. Very good. Okay, some people think three. Okay. Lot of you saying one, some saying three. Nirmala thinks it's four. So she thinks the correct spelling is not here in the options. Wow. Very good. And the correct answer is... Yes, it's one. Accommodate. So there is both double C and double M. Which is what makes this confusing. Which is why some of you thought that there's only single M over here. Which is not the case. Double C, double M. Accommodate. Yay, great job. Okay, next one. I will blank remember the correct spelling. And this is such a common mistake. So many people make this mistake. So we are going to learn the correct spelling so we never make this mistake. Yes. And I see a lot of us making, not a lot of us, some of us making that mistake here as well. Majority of you saying two, but some saying three. Okay. So, meaning of accommodate is giving space, sufficient space to someone. So, if there are already five people sitting in the car, I'll ask you, can you accommodate a sixth person? Can you give some space for a sixth person? That's what it means. Okay, yes, and here, two for sure. Okay, let's see. You are right. It is two for sure. Definitely. Definitely. And a lot of people make the mistake of... Putting an A over here instead of I. So they say definitely. That's incorrect. There needs to be an I after N. Definitely. Great job. Fantastic. You're very, you're doing very well so far. Let's see how you do. The next one. Manoj is the chairman of the blank. The word is committee. And what is a committee? Committee is a group of people who do a specific task or are designated to do a specific task. So they either take some decisions about something or act on a matter. Various things like that. Okay. Again, one, two, three. Some people saying two for sure. Some people saying one. Again, this is sort of like accommodate. You get confused about how many letters are appearing twice. But the correct answer, as most of you got it, is two. So here we have Three letters coming twice. Double M, double T and double E. Committee. Great. So many double letters. So confusing. But most of you got it. Those who didn't, now you know. And if you made a mistake, again, like I said, try typing the correct spelling. It will help you practice.
Dhruvi definitely is not right. There should not be an A over there. Definitely. All right, time for the next one. There are many blank of being in the food club. The word is privileges and what does it mean? A privilege is a special right or an advantage that somebody has. Okay? So again, one, two, three and... Okay, lots of you saying three, but lots of you saying two as well. Hmm, some of you saying one. And the correct answer is three privileges. So the mistake a lot of people make is they put a D somewhere over here. Which makes it sound like a ledge. What is a ledge? So you know if there is a window in your house, this is the window. Sometimes there is a space outside the window like this. That is a ledge. So a lot of people confuse this word and this word and then they add a D in privilege. But you all got it right. So great job. Fantastic. Here's the next one. Those are two blank topics from the chapter. The word is separate. question is why are you wearing a jacket? A person wears a jacket when they are feeling cold. I was feeling a little cold so I wore a jacket. Alright. One, two, three. And fantastic. All of you got it, right? The answer is separate. S-E-P-A-R-A-T-E. Priya Darshini, don't think. Be confident in your answer. You got it right. Great job. So, all of you aced level 1. Went by zoop super quickly because you were all fantastic. And now it's time. Brace yourselves for hmm, level 2. Okay. So now what do we have to do? We have to fill a crossword. Alright? And you have the hints. So down is this. Okay, you can't see that hand properly. So down is this. Across is this. Alright? And now we'll start with one down. Then we'll go two down. Then we'll go three across. Four across. So what is the answer for one down? Right over here. Blank cleaner that sucks in dust particles. Hmm. Okay, I have answers already. Protim, first one to give me an answer. But Protim says, How many of you agree with this answer? In fact, a lot of you are giving me this. Do you agree with this answer? Say yes or no. Give me a yes or a no. No, no, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Lot of people agreeing. Lot of people disagree. So all those of you who are disagreeing, can you tell me what you think the answer is? Yes, Ahana. Ahana is saying it should be So 
सो नाउ टेल मी इज नंबर वन करेक्ट और इज नंबर टू करेक्ट Ah, Sanjeev is saying two, Deepthi two, Sanjeevni two. What about over on this side? Lots of you saying one. Gungun is saying two. Ayush one. Okay. But the correct answer is. Let me just write it down for you. Okay, you can't see yellow here. Brace yourselves. It's ah, number two vacuum. There's a double U and not a double C. But great job, vacuum cleaner. It goes and sucks all the dust in. We use it on carpets, sometimes on other fabric-like materials, sofas and stuff. To suck all the dust in. Okay, great. Now, what are we doing? We're doing two down. The second month of the year. Hmm. Okay, again, I'm getting some answers. And okay, let me read them carefully. All of them seem to be. F E B R U A R Y. Hmm. Nobody has a different answer. No. Okay, so let me write that down for you. F E B R U A R Y. February. Great job. All right. Now, what about three across the next day? Okay, I think Anukriti gave me the fastest answer this time. Sorry, I missed out who was the first for February, and so did Krishna. Okay. So, a lot of you giving me T O. M O R R O W. Some people are saying March. March is the next day, or is it the second month? Okay. So nice, great job. T O M O R R O W. And last one, a person. One knows slightly, but not a close friend. This is a little tricky. Someone you know slightly, but is not a very close friend. Harsimran makes the mistake of writing it with double M. Okay, yeah, that is the common mistake. But here you had help because vacuum and February were already filled, so that helped you out a little bit. He must be saying so. A person that you know but is not a close friend is an enemy. Wow, <laughs> or a neighbor. Ah, but a lot of you got it. Acquaintance. Yes. Acquaintance. Gun gun companion is a different word. A company is a different word. Accompanied, I accompanied you to the market. That means I just gave you company. I came along with you. All right, but the correct answer is acquaintance. But I have lots of different spellings, and that's okay if you didn't know. You get to learn a new word. What's the harm in that? You should be happy. So the spelling that I'm getting the most is. What am I getting? A C Q U A I N T A N C E. All right.
Now do we check? Okay, Raj Kishore has given me all the answers. So an acquaintance is a person that you know, maybe you know a classmate that you say hi, hello to but you don't talk to that much, not a very close friend or someone like a neighbor that you might see every day walking in the park, you say hello to them but it's not, he's not a close friend. So such a person is called an acquaintance. So now stop typing wrong spellings. First we'll confirm if everything we have so far is correct or not. Okay. Let's quickly do that. And here we go. Alright. Tomorrow is correct. Great. We can erase that. Hmm. Acquaintance is correct as well. Great job. So A C Q U A. I N T A N C E acquaintance. Then we have vacuum. Double U, not double C. And February. You got all of you got this one, right? So great job. So I think the toughest one here was vacuum. Okay, Papiya is asking color with a U or color without a U. So sometimes you will see a difference in spelling. Okay, and that's because British English has different spellings for certain words and American English has different spellings. So we can't say that one is wrong, one is right. It's just that in India we tend to use the UK spelling and not the US spelling as Joydeep has said. So color with a U is what we use in India. But people in America will say color, will write color without a U. Which is also correct. But we'll use the British spelling, especially in our exams. Alright? Okay, yeah, a lot of different spellings in American English and British English. You can leave some of those spellings in the comments. It will be interesting to compare. Alright. Yes, a lot of us are used to color with a U because we've studied here and we've learned English, uh, British spelling. We do have Indian English Vedika. There is Indian English. There is an Indian accent. So when I'm talking to you right now, I'm talking in sort of a neutral accent, but it's not really a British accent. So how we speak to each other, that is an Indian accent. So we can call that Indian English. Nothing wrong with that. It's just the spelling convention that we use is British. Yes, neighbor and neighbor. Great job. Okay, alright. Now, quickly, time for level 3. You did such a great job with level 2. I'm sure you're going to be amazing at level 3. Let's go for it quickly. All you have to do is unjumble this word. What is this word right here on your screen? Tell me quickly. And you have the meaning on top two lines that never meet. Okay, already have some answers, Ashriya, Harjit. Again here, don't get confused with which letter comes twice. The answer is... Okay, I don't think any of you have made a mistake. So nobody gave me a double R because it's not there in the jumble letters. So great. The answer is parallel. All right. I feel like this challenge is a little easier than the previous two ones. Because you have all the letters already on screen. You just have to unjumble them. Okay, let's quickly go to the next one. Ah, Conditions or practices conducive to maintaining health and preventing disease, especially through cleanliness. Ah, very good. Answers are pouring in. And H-Y-G-I-E-N-E hygiene. And I hope all of you are pro uh, following proper hygiene these days to protect yourself from COVID. 
Very good. There we are. Great job. Okay, next one. A chart or series of pages showing the days, weeks and months of a particular year or giving particular seasonal information. Hmm. Easy, but a lot of people make a very common mistake here. Yes, answers pouring in. Fantastic. Calendar. But what do a lot of people tend to do? They put an E here instead of A. Right? So we will not make that mistake, Leah. Unless you were telling me that this is the mistake that people make. We will not make this mistake. Calendar. A at the end. Yes. Great. Time for the next one. Needed to be done, achieved or present. Essential. Hmm. Very good. Answers coming in. Arjun, Shreyasi. Yes. Necessary. Here we are. N E C E S S A R Y. Great job. Either you became very, very good at spellings over time, or this level was just very easy for you. I think it was too easy for you. Okay? So here's an extra challenge. Let's see how you do in level four. Now you have to correct the speech. Okay, let's see how you do it here. And Pratiksha is saying it's a piece of cake. And the word piece, a lot of people make a spelling mistake there also. Words with I-E, they sometimes write it as E-I instead. Like piece, thief, friend, right? But you spelt it correctly, so great job. Shaswat is saying Easy peasy burger cheesy. Okay, nice. This is something I've heard for the first time. Let's get to it. Okay, now what do you have to do? You have to read this and you have to find the words with the incorrect spelling. So I can read it with you. Start giving me the words with the incorrect spelling and I want the correct spelling along with it. So this is going to be a little challenging. Let's see how you do. Rohan Sain received the Entrepreneur of the Year Award for his successful toy company at a global event last night. His persistent hard work and determination have paid off. Congratulations, Rohan. Okay, yes, you need to give me the correct spelling. And I just, I just gave you a little bit of a hint before this with the Peace Thief. Yeah. This is the ulta of that. The opposite. Okay, great job. So a lot of you have pointed out. Received over here. Entrepreneur. What else? Successful. Anything else after that? Congratulations and determination anything that you're forgetting hmm there we go Grisha good job persistent okay did we get all the errors let's check yes we did fantastic now should we correct them let's see what is what should be the correct spelling of received Should it be R-E-C-I-E-V-E-D or R-E-C-E-I-V-E-D? Yes. Great job. So, it should be R-E-C-E-I-V-E-D. Opposite of the peace word that we were talking about. And what about entrepreneur? 
E N T R E P R E N E U R. Great, fantastic, and then we have successful. S U C C E S S F U L. Very good. And then we have persistent. Okay, some of you making errors here. Should it be P E R S I S T A N T or T E N T? A N T or E N T? Ah. E N T. Great job. Not A N T. Yes. And determination. Determination easy. It should be D E T E R M I N A T I O N. Not D I. Very good. And finally, congratulations. Congratulate T I A N S T I O N S. Yes, T I O N S. And puppy has typed the entire speech. Very good. Can't see if the spellings are correct though. Okay, great job. T I O N, not T I A N. Here are the corrected spellings. All of you did a fantastic job, so congratulations. Thanks to you, the speech is now perfect. So you won the challenge. Great job. He must be seen. S E E N. Have you seen my glasses anywhere? Oh, I saw them in the bedroom. So there's no S E N. All right. Great job. Nitya, what is the spelling of premium? You've made a mistake there with the spelling of premium. Anya, again, schedule and schedule. The pronunciation difference is again British English and American English. Americans say schedule. British English, we say schedule or schedule. So there are many different pronunciations for this. In India, we tend to say schedule. Yes, giving me the correct spelling of premium. Great job. Persistent means someone who doesn't give up, who keeps trying. So your persistent hard work leads you to success. When you don't stop trying, you're persistent. In this speech, Rohan Sen is his name. Rohan Sen. Sen is a Bengali surname, right? All the Bengalis, Papia. So he must be Sen is just Rohan's full name. Okay. Curious fellow, determination. When you really want to achieve something and you work towards it, then you have a lot of determination. Okay. There is no mentee today. Sorry. But there is homework. So you did such a great job. Congratulations with the correct spelling to all of you. You've won the spelling challenge and so homework is going to be what easy peasy burger cheesy for all of you. 
So all you have to do is select the correct spelling of the following words. Leave your answers in the comments. And why join Telegram? So if, if it was up to me, I'd remove one question mark from here after our punctuation session. But it's okay because you all asked this question so many times. We can have two question marks here. So you get so many things, revision questions, session notes, Sunday fun day facts, homework questions, quizzes and all the updates. So that's why you should join Telegram. So many reasons. So those of you who haven't, please do it quickly, quickly, quickly. And as always, we've got you covered, both the channels. So always stay updated by liking, subscribing and pressing the bell icon so that you're never late to any of the sessions. Tell your friends about these sessions so it can help them too. And again, if you enjoyed this, you will definitely enjoy Baiju's classes because you will have two, two teachers, you have a lot of fun and you get so many other things like worksheets, class notes, you know, and practice sessions. You'll get tested so you know exactly where you're at. And then you'll get your monthly reports to see how you're doing. And it's good for your parents as well. We have parent-teacher meetings so they know how your progress is. Right? So do make use of the free trial classes. Link is in the description. And there we go. A little animation of how your learn journey will look like in Baiju's The Learning App. So you've already seen all of this. You see it at the end of every session. So those of you who haven't downloaded, download the app now. Lots of fun things here for you to explore. And also we have the Baiju Scholarship Test. So all of you can take advantage of this. Register for free and you have a chance of getting up to 100% scholarship if you do well. So, test your conceptual understanding and you can assess your understanding of basic concepts. There are a lot of lot of benefits so do go for it. Register now. It happens every Sunday and all the links as always are in the description box. So, thank you so much. Had lots of fun with you today. See you next time. Until then, take care, stay safe and practice your spellings. Don't depend on autocorrect. Bye-bye.